Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on reading positive values off a scale. So these scales here we called number lines. And we often get these kind of scales when we're reading things like weight or height, uh, something on a ruler, etc. Now the way to do this is to think like what the gap between these numbers are. So for example between the 0 and the 10 that is a gap of 10, that's a difference of 10. And then we see what that 10 is split up into. So you need to count, not, not the actual marks, but the number of regions it's split into. So for example, that's one region between that mark and that mark is one region. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that width of 10 is split into 10. And what's 10 split into 10? 10 divided by 10 is 1. So it must be that these are going up by 1 each time. Let's just check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was right. Yeah. So we just need to continue going up in 1s from 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that number, the number line, is 16. Let's do a similar thing here. It's slightly harder. Um, can you see... 20 to 30, that's a difference of 10. Now this 10 is not split up into 10 as it was before, it's actually split up into one, two, three, four, five regions. So 10 divided by five is equal to two, and that means each time we go up one mark, we must be going up two. So up two, up two, up two, up two. So let's check that, 20, up two, we get to 22, up to again, we get to 24, then 26, then 28, and add to again, we get to 30. So that's right. We've managed to get to 30, which is what we expected. So that arrow is pointing at the 24, so the answer is 24. Now the final one, again, let's consider the distance, the difference between two numbers on the scale, 300 to 400, that's a difference of 100. And what are we splitting into now? Well, the regions this time between the marks, we've got one, two, three, four regions. So we need to divide the 100 by four, and that is equal to 25. So it must be that we're going up by 25 each time we go up one mark. So we could work down from 300 and subtract 25, or we can work up, it's up to you. But if we go up 25, 200 plus the 25 is 225. Then if we add 25 again, 225 plus 25 is 250. Add another 25, you get 275. And then add 25 again, you indeed do get 300. So therefore the answer here, that arrow is pointing at the 275.